Okay, Blue, this video is just for you. And for those of you who don't know, Blue is the chief engineer on my boat. He recommended this coffee pot to me. We're about to try it out. So this is a wood stove that I bought with the idea of heating up the inside of a hot tent. <laughs> uh, I bought the smallest one I could get. So it's not very deep. It's only 14 inches deep and the door is kind of small. A standard size of firewood will not fit in there. I had to chop up these little bitty ones just for this purpose. So I'm not real happy with the stove as far as heating the tent idea goes, but I think it'll work great for boiling this water on top in this coffee pot. And here's the coffee pot. Look, it's so new, it's still got the sticker on it. This thing holds two gallons of water. I've got some water in there. It's not completely full, but uh, it's gonna be enough to make a pot of coffee. That's about all this wood stove is gonna be good for. Okay, the fire is lit. <laughs> uh, thanks to some Walmart paper bags, you can't get plastic bags in Fort Collins anymore. I've got a couple of pieces of firewood in there. This thing should be heating up here any minute now. So here's my stove pipe that is still stuck together. I can't get it undone. But as you can see, it's a smoking. It's doing what it's supposed to do. Oh yeah, I got a good fire going now. Under normal circumstances, I would have tried this in the woods. <laughs> but it just so happens I'm at home. So here we go. Oh. Put the coffee pot on there. Oh wow. The fire's going. We're going to check on it here in a few minutes and see what's up. So I want you to look at that fire going inside the stove right underneath the coffee pot. <laughs> now I put this thing on here at the uh, 2.05. So I'm gonna time it and see how long it takes to bring it to a rolling boil. I haven't watched the uh, cowboy Ken Rollins uh, video on how much coffee to put in there, uh, but I don't think it really gonna matter all that much. I just wanna see how long it takes to boil the water. Okay, so I just want to go on record as saying I do drink coffee every morning, especially on a camping trip. Uh, let's check it out and see what it's doing. No, it ain't steaming yet. It's only been about 15 minutes. But my primary purpose for getting this thing was so I could heat up some water and put in my rinse kit, my portable shower. I really wasn't wanting to make coffee. I've got the, a Keurig and a Jackery for that. But you know what? This might be, be the best coffee I've ever had. Okay, it's 2.45 now. I still got a good fire going, so it's been about 40 minutes. But I want you to take a look at this. I don't know if you can see that, but there's some steam coming out of there. Oh yeah, it ain't boiling yet. But I ain't sticking my finger in it to see how hot it is. Okay, it's 3.05 now. It's been an hour. That water's still not boiling. <laughs> it is hot though. I just opened the lid. I might have to go get me a rag or something to, to open that lid again. But the, the firewood's kind of dying down to nothing but coals. Maybe I need to shove a couple of more sticks in there. I don't think it's gonna be much longer. Okay, so while I was waiting for the water to boil, I did watch Kent Rollins' video, and he says, ooh, look at that steam. Can you see it? This lid is hot, woo! I gotta put that down. Oh, man. He says in his video that you put the coffee in while the water is warm. So I got about four scoops of coffee in my Reese's coffee cup <laughs> and I'm just gonna pour it in there and that's what he says to do you put the coffee in there while it's warm and then you let it come to a rolling boil 
that, that boils the bitterness out. We gonna find out. Okay, Daisy, I want you to take a look at this. That water is boiling. Oh, wait a minute. Let me put this on top of my grill because it's hot. That water is boiling. It's rolling. It's got the coffee in there. No. Oh, I just got hit by a blast of steam. Now, old Kent Rollins says you do this for about four minutes. We're going to give it another minute or two. Then we got to throw some cold water in it. Okay, Daisy, I've had to lay it off for a little bit. Here's a... A cup of cold water I'm gonna pour around it he said pour some in the spout did I, did I just move my camera now that's supposedly gonna make the ground sink to the bottom so we might have to give it a minute to heat back up and then we're just gonna pour some out the spout right here in my cup and see what this cowboy coffee is all about okay Daisy you know I'm severely right-handed so I gotta hold this phone with my left hand <laughs> But look at that steaming pot of coffee. I'm about to pour some in my cup. Oh, here it comes right out the spout. Oh, yeah, just a little half a cup. All I want for now. Let's give it a try. Okay, so here it is, Blue. <laughs> you ready for this? Oh, man, that's some good coffee. This worked out pretty good. You know what? Like I said, I really wanted that thing to heat up some shower water though. Next time, next video I make, I'll show you about taking a shower, heating it up on the on the stove in the coffee pot. Probably won't put that on Facebook, but I'll send it to you anyway.